all right what's going on youtube we're going to be reviewing whether checkmates in this game are okay or not and if you don't know what a checkmate is that's okay because broski is going to be breaking it down for us we're gonna go through it we're gonna get my thoughts on it as well as whether it's fair or not in street fighter 6 so with that being said let's get into the video he's gonna break down everything that happened in regards to this hello i always wonder what is going on with his intro but you know what i mean let him rock let him do him. a few days ago i uploaded a highlight clip which i thought was pretty cool to twitter.com and um there was quite a reaction but let me just quickly show you the clip first before i before i uh, get into it please let me cancel can i just say this was a really good reaction from kills you bro he, he definitely hit it bro this is oh, this say, was supposed to be his free what there was no discussion whether it was going to be game or not this was ggs pretty much gone. very DDI. close to it but DDI. not exactly right. ggs so never if works. i was gone. talking over him but essentially what he DDI. says is that he says ggs thank you right ggs <laughs> Get all of that, bro. And you just got party time, bro. It'd it be what it be. It, it really does suck. I'm not gonna lie to you. It does suck, but you got party time. It's a party game. And then I know I he's feeling sick about himself. He's that feeling was pretty good. You're right. Disgusted. Yeah, about I mean, blame blame Twitter compression for the for the garbled mass of pixels. Um, but anyway, so <laughs> this kind of blew up. Uh, it kind of went crazy. I don't know why this has seventeen and a half thousand or more than that likes and retweets and quotes and shit. And the res <laughs> the reviews are in, folks. Can I just say though, real fast, is the fact that like, if we're being honest. Even though it says 1.2, how many of them people really play Street Fighter on a day-to-day -day basis? If I were to be honest with you, I'd probably say maybe like 200K of them play like three hours a week. That's it. I wouldn't say they play a lot. The good game. people of uh, the internet have left their nice reviews. And I got such feedback as the amount of people hyping this up in the comments is sad. This is beyond stupid and makes the game look like a joke, especially to non-SF players viewing this clip. Zero. Wait, 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 wait. Can, can I just ask some? If you're a non-SF player, are you a fighting game player or not? That distinction makes a difference. Because if you don't play fighting games at all and you see this, you're like, ha ha, funny clip. What are you supposed to do? It's not that sad, personally. If you are a fighting game player and I see this as like an anime player myself, I'd be like, yo, he got got. I don't know what to tell you. Like, he used up all his resources, bro decided to bash, got caught out, and got cooked. Don't know what to tell you. No counterplay moments from health leads like that should never exist in fighting games just nerf this crap okay nerf this crap. game is, is so fucking dog shit lmao <laughs> another happy customer genuinely don't understand why this hasn't been removed yet brother you yeah that's that's even me that's me leaving my own feedback on this video this this <laughs> i'm trolling myself here and why does but he anyway, have I'm it doing on the, light i'm doing mode. the content creator thing here of like unnecessarily focusing on negativity to be to be clear most people were very positive and thought that it was a cool clip but i do think it is worth doing a quick rundown of like how aki's burnout pressure works and like where it's real where it's fake um how you can break out and like, like you, bro. is this truly he, he, he doing the youtube thing bama I'm gonna speed him up. And it's not because I'm young. It's just because bro's doing the YouTube thing and he's. And I get it. He's got a. But the thing is, let's. Let's. You know what I mean? Come on. 
you doing the YouTube thing. Yeah, check me. Like, did the round. Here's, here's what I want to kind of address. Did the round truly end? Having the option. Command dash, it just never works. Go on, do a DI. At this moment. I, I smugly said GG's, but was this truly GG? We, we, we all, in, in, well, at, when you're at a certain point, we all kind of do something like that where, like, you have no resources, you're in burnout is ggs you'll say something like that if you watch my streams if you see me fighting jam you'll notice i'll be like oh he level one me ggs because now he doesn't have any resources i can party time him as a manon player send a medium punch the entire time he's kind of cooked what can he do and you kind of say it you know in a smug way and i don't blame him for saying ggs right this here. early but okay, technically so no truth, it's not this at is this not point checkmate. this situation right here and when i say checkmate i mean a genuinely guaranteed win um, from this position, there are lots of situations where Aki can checkmate you. By the way, I feel as though people don't know what a checkmate is, right? Generally, when you're talking about a checkmate situation, maybe he does, he goes into it, maybe he's not. We're three minutes of video, he hasn't necessarily talked about it. So, if you don't know what a checkmate situation is, a checkmate situation is essentially a situation where um, you technically don't have any uh, super resource, you're in burnout, which means a lot of the things that they end up doing to you, especially if they have a loop certain loops like aki's loop that we saw there other loops like um crouch jab into standing heavy punch with uh jamie as well as um manon pressing standing medium punch over and over and over again these are known as infinite loops it brings you it not only brings you to the corner but it also sets you up for different situations for in manon's case it sets you up for command grab and then you can kind of keep the the train going and because they don't have um reversals they kind of have to keep guessing on the situation if they decide to try and mash on the situation in these certain burnout infinites they also get hit and then what ends up happening is that they get dragged to the corner dragged to the corner and if they don't have enough health in to survive the di they get hit with the di and they die and if you're not aware of this situation some people might say oh you can try grabbing the the thing but if you use a heavy button depending on the character you're using right but if you use a heavy button let's suppose we switch over to jamie here but if you use a heavy button into di then it won't in fact actually work so let's put them on block put them in burnout and then we're also going to try to make them do block reversal throw we're not going to delay it we're going to do it on frame one here so if they try to do something they just get hit you might be thinking oh but they can hold up right if they try to hold up on the situation the same thing happens right so basically you're put into a situation where you can't do anything right there's nothing you can really do oh it's not even on Oops, my fault right there's nothing you can do about the situation regardless of how you want to go about it there's nothing you can really do about the situation and because of that if you don't have any reversals aka super meter or od because you're in burnout there's nothing you can really do about the situation you're kind of cooked from there so some people may argue is this fair right um i would argue yes because the thing is is that you need to be managing your meter and if you're not managing your meter right then anything that happens to you past that point is kind of up to you right some may argue he went for level three and now he dies for it but this is not the case it was actually because he went for the the greedy di here that's kind of why he went through it okay after level three where you genuinely have no option to deal with it this one is not a checkmate but it's very very close to a checkmate so let me just break down what happens here so at this point I have very low health, right? So um, I can't I can't counter the DI with my own DI if he does one here, because I don't have enough health, right? It'll just kill me. So my only options to beat Drive Impact in this situation is either perfect parry or like avoid it completely by jumping out. So I kind of read that the Drive Impact is coming. Works. Go on, do a DI. I get the perfect parry, and at this moment, this is where things. Can get I off. just say this is very lucky the uh, uh, perfect parry, by the way. This could have very well went the other way, where he just gets normal parried. After uh, the normal parry, they play out the situation, and if he play out the normal situation nine times out of ten broski loses it right complicated so. because 
I have a few options. But it was I very well executed. But because it's he a perfect was aware parry, of the situation, whatever combo I do here is going to be super executed safe, right? correctly. Though. It doesn't matter how much I optimize it, this is going to be perfect parry scaling. So I have to not optimize for damage in terms of health, but I have to optimize for drive gauge damage. So I start with a DI. Thank you. Right. And that takes away 1.5 bars from my opponent. True. And then I follow up with a very short combo into critical up, which will also take away two bars. So at this point, and then he's, he's guaranteed to be burnout. Burnout. Now he's got six bars to so play with. Let's just break down this burnout sequence one, one part at a time. So drive rush medium punch here after critical up. This is guaranteed. You can't wake up button here, you will get hit. And then from here, I start doing he the basic loop. Party time. Let me just show you in training mode. He just gets party so time. So like the Aki's basic burnout do. loop, the one that I use quite a lot in this in this uh, clip, I do this. This loop, crouch, jab, stand, medium punch. Now I got, I had a lot of, a lot, there was, there's so much misinformation about Aki that I want to clear up. So the first thing I want to point out is this loop, crouch, jab, stand, medium punch is not interruptible at any point. If you attempt to jab or anything other than like an invincible super That's here, the crazy even if it's your part. fastest But button, at the same time, you, it, you know what I mean? You, you put yourself in, in that situation, so anything like that happens past that but point case, is up to you. Because she just used her level three and didn't have any super, she has no way to interrupt this, this string. But as you may have noticed, each rep of this string pushes me out a little bit more. So you can see that after about three or four reps, the jab whips because so it's, not, it's not a true now like, infinite. when i see this my question is if that is the case if on the versions that are further out is it are you able to mash there that's something that i'll go ahead and lab on my own but that's just a little food for thought because the button is not coming out as early or hitting you on block as early as it should does it cause a little difference yeah, that's something that we you have you to then do something uh, at this point. So, for that that you um, there's a few different options you can do here once you push yourself out of this loop. The safest one that maintains the loop is the dry brush cancel. So, like, if you want to be absolutely risk averse and make sure that your opponent cannot interrupt at all, you need to do a dry brush cancel. So, you can do this. Mm -hmm. Medium punch, like that. Punch. So, if I do this string and then after every fourth rep, I do a dry brush cancel, that whole sequence is not interruptible at any point. The problem is, dry brush cancels are very expensive in terms of drive gauge. Yes, you can be. So, by the time, by the time, the time that I drag my opponent to the corner, if I do drive rush cancels like this, by the time I get you there and, and, and uh, burn you out and uh, stun you, chances are I'm either burned out myself as well or um, I'm very close to it. Uh, what was I saying? So, but that's not what I did in this string. So, if you notice. I do a couple time, reps of the uh, light to medium punch, thing. and then I transition into Cow Crouch Roll. And this is one of the two points in this string where I could have died. Like, if he had pressed jab here, I would have died. Because now yeah, but most Cow people are not going to press there. It, it, it's very unlikely. So, now, if with he's jab. smart, even though he, if he's smart, favor, he's not going to press there. It's very so unlikely. Combo off this if your opponent's a masher, like then you know what I mean? Balls to the so wall. You can actually intentionally try and fish for this trade. Whatever happens. But in if most cases, to, in they're probably situation, not I did not have the health to take it. If he had pressed jab here, it would have traded and I would have died. I did not have the health to take a jab trade. So this is one of the two like fake points in the string. Honestly, me. I think your health may be... And here's the second one. So I, I did a second Coward Crouch Roll Cancel, and I got very lucky here, actually. He did actually try and interrupt on this one. If this he had pressed Crouch Jab here with reversal timing, it would have traded and I would have died. But he pressed it a little so, bit late, I think, or maybe he pressed like a medium. We're going like, to stop it there. And if you want to watch the video, the video is in the description below. But essentially, what I wanted to go over here in this specific case right here is I want to talk about the health resource, okay? Let's talk about the health resource. When it comes to your drive gauge here, right? We understand you got to survive this much time. You have this much health. Okay, stop thinking about health as a means to uh, make sure that you stay alive versus a means to open up your opponent or, or at least survive an incident. How, how, what do I mean by this? So if instead of mashing here, we just block it out and i mean straight block it out we have a higher chance of surviving this right this is what i mean by using your health as a resource if you are not using your health knowing the fact that okay he only has this much time left he can probably successfully maybe throw me once he can throw me once and then he has to probably bait me or whatever have you right but in this small gap here this is what you're living for this is what you have to survive because once you make it out of here you're golden you're golden you run amok right it was this mash right here that got him killed and this is a crazy photo but thank you thank the lord it's uh pixelated but anyways it was this mash right here that lost him the game because it Lower was this counted. mash right here and, uh, i'm actually gonna quit out of this go to the actual video itself please but essentially it was 
this smash right here that got him killed because now th this smash allowed him to get this much damage which opened up the world for him to die off of this hit right but let's suppose off of this decision here he gets thrown which probably does this amount of damage as opposed to a full combo right and that right the full combo in itself is probably worth maybe two maybe three throws and then you'd be put in that situation and then by the time you eat two or three throws you're already recovered if not on the verge of recovery and then that's how you can punish it now the question is is this fair is it fair for an opponent to have to suffer like this the answer is yes right in my opinion yes now the reason why it is is because mainly you have to play this game very smart way very wisely when it comes to your drive rush meter right you have to make sure that you're not rushing in there the entire time and trying to drive rush you have to make sure that you're monitoring it at all times right it is your opponent's reward that you run out of drive gauge they want you to run out drive gauge so they can run their offense for free or not for free but a lot easier than they normally would you need to make sure that you're denying them that as as often as you can so that means if you see that your uh drive gauge is in orange then you have to play a little bit more of a passive game until you have enough to comfortably drive rush right you can't just automatically be trying to drive rush all the time because you're just going to burn yourself out when you burn yourself out that's how you know you're going to lose the round now there are some pro players that are able to do this uh play and burn out comfortably but they do play luke okay and even if you are a luke player don't assume that you're on the same caliber as he is because he is good also on that but good right um but with that being said you want to make sure that you're always in control of your resources making sure that you're using your drive gauge resource correctly as well as your health resource correctly when you are the one in burnout anyways that is basically all i wanted to go over in this video this is more of a discussion video just going over the reaction when it comes to that uh broski topic once again shout out to broski um i'm gonna leave the the original video down below so you can find all of his stuff once again appreciate y'all have a good one y'all peace